Okay. Hello and welcome back. It's been a long time since we've been back to Shadowverse, and there's just one thing that's been on my mind pressing in the last several weeks, and that is there's been too much gameplay on this channel. Too much, I tell you. It's time to go sit back and watch a visual novel. Or, I mean, card game. <laughs> but, yeah. Brief channel update. As has been stated in previous streams, I recommend you join the Discord if you wish to be maintained on when I'm going to be live and how often that's going to happen. As well as you can just post memes there and I, or even try to talk to me directly. As long as you do so through the chat in the Discord and don't DM me personally, I will generally try to respond. I am on Discord most hours of the day, and if I have my phone on me, I'm still on there anyway. You can also follow me on Reddit, but uh, that's not super important. It's a VCGN, yeah. <laughs> that is correct. But yeah. We're going to stay sub only for the near future. For sure. visual card game novel. Eh, that's what you mean. But yeah, I'm very excited to see if this is the end of the, the Lessons from Lanecrest arc. Because it felt like we were at a climax. But we might not be. We might end up time loop shenanigans for all we know. And who knows where the story can go from here. And it's really weird considering how self-contained this story has been. Considering none of our main cast are here. I have not been playing Shadowverse as much in my downtime because of how much downtime I've been putting into other things. Um, there is a planned Genshin stream and a planned Sea of Thieves stream in the near future. And I will probably do a reaction just personally only for YouTube to the uh, trailer for 4.2 for Genshin Impact when that comes out. Because... Those reactions do very well on the channel for some reason. I have no clue when I'm going to resume Star Rail. I would like to, but I have not had time or gotten around to it. As I've mentioned in a few previous streams, I am not having as much time to dedicate to streams. I'm going to try to keep it to two streams a week, but that might end in the near future unless my financial situation gets a lot better or who knows the planets align. Well, that's enough of an intro. We've been going on for, I think, at least three minutes now. And I think I've ran out of things to say. So, let's just resume. What did we live off in this, anyway? Ah, yes. Chapter 11. Sisters. I wonder if it's in English. I never even bothered to check before the stream. Birdie, 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 birdie. You finally looked me in the eyes! Oh, that's right. Maybe a recap would have been nice. <laughs> because I forgot that we left off with Sister going crazy mad with power as Nerva's new vessel. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> I didn't pick a deck, which means this is all cutscene. What did you just... was looking for a sibyl to house a goddess named Nerva. I wanted powers like yours, so I asked if I could try. It was really hard, but I did it. See? Now I have a goddess too. Okay. <laughs> uh, you don't want that goddess. She bad. She mean. I have no clue what the Harvest Goddess's uh, shtick is, so I can't really vouch for that one either, but... So, uh, what do you think? <laughs> I don't like this new happy Castell. Castell. Castell, I, I don't understand. Hmm. Um, so basically, uh, I got Professor Vice to help me summon a really, really strong goddess. It was taking a long time, though, and I really wanted to see you, so he brought me to Lingcrest. You were trying to do this shit on your own before Weiss got involved? Oh, we're gonna have to kill the sister, aren't we? I have a bad feeling we're gonna have to kill the sister, and I'm gonna feel real sad about it. 
I studied super hard, and now I'm just like you. Uh, how does the old nursery rhyme go? Sybil, Sybil, what's your wish? I wish to die. All right, hold on. Do you know what kind of deity Nerva is? Uh, purgation, if I remember correctly, which is a word I don't use often in my normal lexicon, so I don't really remember exactly what it means. Um, not really. You know, if I was going to have someone possess my body for all of eternity, I think I would at least want to know a little bit about them first. Maybe have them take me out to dinner, go on a long walk on the beach. What? Castell! But she's traveling across worlds to learn about joy. That's what Professor Vice said. I don't believe that, not for a hot minute. It didn't matter to me what she was the goddess of. I just wanted to summon one, and Nerva's really powerful. I... I thought you'd be impressed. I thought you'd come back. Concern? Impressed. Because that's what purgation means. I had a feeling it had something to do with, like, purifying, but that's about all I thought about it. Or, like, purging. Because it seems like it's got the word to purge in it. Purgation. Purga purgation. Ugh. I will admit, I am slightly impressed that you summoned a god. I would be more impressed if it was any other god. Literally any of them. It could have been the god of knock-knock jokes for all I care. It would have been much more impressive. So you... <sighs> we all, for those of us who are Toho fans, we all know who the god of knock-knock jokes is. <laughs> Mother and father were mad when you ran away. They kept calling you a thief. And power hungry. And... Because they were caught up in old-fashioned ideals, just like everyone else in the forest. At first, I didn't get why, but after stealing the goddess's spirit from the tree, it all clicked. She sees time from such a large scale, our lifetimes pass like seconds. Damn it, I thought elves were long-lived, or sibyls, I guess is what they are, not elves. The Sibyls were constantly exposed to the idea that their lives were insignificant. <sighs> so I decided, I'll handle all of the Sibyl duties, and then everyone else can move on. No one else has to sacrifice their time serving her. But goddesses aren't all bad. True. I could imagine there's got to be at least one of them that's really nice. Got to knock knock jokes looking at you. Mine always listens to me and helps when I get stuck. I want to be like that too. That's why I train so hard to be a Sybil. <sighs> You're too trusting. This is exactly why I didn't want them putting Sybil nonsense in your head. I took the goddess away to protect you! <gasps> you would have made a much better medium for her than me. And she knew it. Remember that time she attacked you? <laughs> ah, so that's what was going on there. Castell! I summoned her to fight off monsters, and for the first time, she saw you. She tried to claim you as a Sybil. If our parents had known, you would have been stuck in that forest serving her forever. I tried to cover for you, but they were bound to find out eventually, so... <sighs> Well, that's good. Happy family reunion. But mother and father kept saying scary stuff, and 
I didn't want to doubt you, but I didn't know, and... I was afraid you really did get sick of me. And... <laughs> that's why you left. Aww. No. Castell, I would never... If you haven't doomed this world to possibly be destroyed, I would be so sympathetic to your cause. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it was all a misunderstanding. I'm okay, I'll admit. I'm still sympathetic to your cause. But that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. <laughs> that aura. Her mana just spiked, but why? Oh, come on, Verdelia, you're smarter than this. I believed in you. I don't know what I would have done if I was wrong. I already killed mother and father, so, you know. Oh. Oh, she was always fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Castell, you... You what? Huh? Uh-oh. Um... Please tell me you did that recently. <laughs> mother and father kept saying mean things about you. I can not stand it. So I killed them. Oh god. I don't think I like this plot twist. God, this is really Maisha 2.0. I took the pure and innocent character and made them evil for the sake of... What a twist! <laughs> Remember how you used to say I really knew my plants? I researched all kinds of poisons for you. Oh god. <sighs> oh god. Ferdy? You... Our parents... You poisoned them. Is it that surprising? It was hard, but I, I practiced a lot to get it right. You don't practice poisoning to get it right. You do it the first time. That just means it was slow, methodical, and painful. No one else believed in you the way I did anyways. They all deserved it. They all? You killed more than just the parents, didn't you? Rudy, what's wrong? Oh god. Vice was the one who brought you to Lamecrest, right? That means he's been to the forest. He was controlling you the whole time. He made you do it. God, I hope so. Huh, but Vice didn't come to the forest until... He made you do it. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Um, as much as I want to blame her, uh, the parents got to take some responsibility in this. How badly do you treat your child to the point where they murder you? They should hold some level of responsibility. Yes, they are victims. Maybe I shouldn't blame the victim here. But karma has to weigh in at some point, right? Grit your teeth. This might hurt, but you'll be better soon. Ah, uh, she's young. She might grow out of the murder phase. Who knows? Ferdy! Wait. How long do Sibyls live? Tell the hour. Set the sun. Tell me whence the moon hath come. Hey, Rodelia, you wouldn't happen to be able to time travel, would you? Pendulum <laughs> swing and cycle sing. Time spring, Anna. One. Huh? That won't hurt at all. Huh? That's the incantation for the goddess of cycles. But I know how your time powers work. Did you think I did it? You. Me. <laughs> Come on. I'm your little sister. I know everything about you. Yeah, but you also said previously that you didn't. I promise. I don't care about the goddess of cycles. Or Nerva. Okay? You're the only one I believe in. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've always, always, always believed in you. Just... You. They're sibyls, so I guess it's... They're less elves and more like wood nymphs. What are you saying? 
You never noticed? I've idolized you ever since we were little. Color me impressed. You have potential. Are you interested in developing your powers? With a little help, you could surpass the divines above. Me? Surpass divines? Of course. I'm sure you're no stranger to Verdilia's talents, right? Hmm. I'm all that being said, if they are elves, and Sybil is just a another word for elf in this universe, then um these gods, or keepers I should call them, have a weird habit of picking elves as vessels. A very weird coincidence, I might say. But I can tell. You'll overtake even her in no time. Overtake Rudy? Don't lie to me. Uh-oh. Wait, did we see this in the flashback before? I can sense your goddess. And she's nowhere near as strong as Verdi. Oh. Yeah, this is new. I thought it was flashback. But I'm useless. So if your goddess can bring me closer to her, even just a step, I'll take her. That's what you're here for, right? A Sybil? <laughs> it is indeed. You're exactly what Nerva's been looking for. You've always been my goddess. I've devoted my life to you way before you got your powers. Or I got mine. What about Alicia? I'm still upset about the whole Alicia thing. Did you kill her too? Is Weiss just a red herring? I was a bad Sybil. So no one liked me. No one needed me. All they cared about was that tree. Fuck that tree. But you were always there to save me. You listened to me. Castell. That's what a goddess is, right? Someone who hears your prayers and answers them. Where's Belfamet when we need him? The tree didn't. But you did. So I decided to worship you instead. Okay, so this is going to end with us killing the sister or the sister killing herself. Belfamet offed himself when he became Nerva's perfect vessel, so that would be a fitting parallel if it does occur. That's not how it works. You're my sister. Of course I helped you. No matter how this ends, it's going to get very sad before it gets any happier. You weren't as strong, and your personality is too gentle to fight for yourself, so I... Yep. I couldn't do anything without you. I mean, he was still doing bad shit. If we're to believe what the headmaster said, he was just literally killing students because they were not good enough. Kind of like how when colleges put you on academic probation and eventually just expel you if you're not doing good enough. Except he was expelling them from life. Castell, your abilities were forcing you down the path of a Sybil. I tried to stop it, but... I don't mind being a Sybil, though. I'm happy as long as I get to be with you. God, this is just a tragedy. <sighs> And your beliefs. I thought they were the same as our parents, and everyone else in that forest. Okay, that was your mistake, Rudy. The same as they've always been. Right? I never believed in anyone or anything but you. I followed your teachings longer than anyone at the Academy. I'll worship you forever and ever. So please, be my goddess. Just mine. This is getting weird. Everybody check off Yandere Sister off your bingo sheets. Alrighty, chapter 12. 
Pendulum Swing. No deck selection, which means this is going to be another be your lore dump. Goddess, but all the other students get to call you an angel, don't they? She's not the Angel of Death. I think Weiss is sticking her with that title. The Angel of Death. So you did overhear that. Yep. <laughs> I got Professor Weiss to tell me all about last year. Oh, that's right. She aged all the students to death. Right. He said you used the power of cycles on your class. They all got perfect grades. And then, after they graduated, they got scouted by the army. But without you to rely on, they all died. Oh. Weiss phrased that very differently. I thought she aged them to dust. No, that's not her fault. Fuck that. That's the army's fault. It just... It didn't feel right. They were so talented, hardworking, and... The curriculum didn't recognize any of it. So I thought if I could compress a few cycles worth of learning into one, they'd know enough to pass their tests with ease and more. But in the end, they weren't as strong as I made them look on paper. Their deaths are my fault. I wouldn't hold that over your head. Honestly, that is just... Something that we deal with actually in real life, education, with, uh, there's this concept called grade inflation. So, long story short, over the last several decades or so, um, the value of an A has actually deteriorated to the point where almost 40% of all college grades are A's. In fact, there are more... Like, if you look at a bell curve graph, you would assume that a bell curve graph would have most people around 36% being C's, but right now it's mostly A's in that middle of the bell curve, which is not what should occur on a bell curve. If you're going to have an F to A scale, F, D, C, B, A, the middle point should be the average, but it's not. And long story short, as a result, a lot of employers are not using GPA as a metric to, re to measure the aptitude of a graduate anymore because it is not an accurate uh, measurement of one's ability or even knowledge. All a good grade means these days is you'll know you knew how to do classwork and you knew how to get assignments turned in on time. If anything, it just shows that you can follow instructions and not much else. Testing is a little bit better, but it has its own flaws. But long story short, education gives you a lot of tools, but it's not a measurement of how good you are as an individual. It's not good for evaluations. The army did a very poor evaluating of the students. They just said, hey, these students did good. We'll put them in the army. And that did not turn out well. You did a good job, Bradilia. That's not on you. Don't blame the teachers for what the employers and businessmen and militaries chose to do with poor planning and probably misallocating a student or resources. The army got those kids killed, not you. Ferdy. I should have been the one they sent out to fight. I would have been fine. And so would they. I agree with that sentiment. Not gonna make that mistake again. You didn't do anything wrong, though. God, I'm sympathizing with the villain. <laughs> it's their own fault they couldn't keep up. Okay, now I don't agree with that. But I promise, I can. I worked really hard with Professor Vice to catch up. Uh, good grades in English is not going to help me be better at doing my taxes. I'm just as strong as you now. You can't hurt me, so it's okay. <laughs> She resisted a full cycle of my power like it was nothing. Whoever Nerva is, she's not some minor deity. If I don't get her away from Castell, forget the Academy. She'll destroy the world. I think that's Nerva's goal. Um, Ferdy? 
Are you okay? You went all quiet. If you don't believe me, I can prove it. Try hitting me again. Oh, great. Let's just, uh, if you have masochism on your bingo card, check that off. <laughs> Told the hour. Set the sun. Tell me whence the moon hath come. Pendulum swing and cycle sing. Time spring. Fecca! Ten? Oh, fuck. She's going all out. Wow, Verdi. That was amazing. You can use ten whole cycles at once? Silence. Time commands thee. Huh? <laughs> What's gotten into you? You really do sound like a goddess, though. And you don't have to hold back. I can take it. Time spring. Trianda. If she can go up to 30? <laughs> when you do that, you skip through all those cycles at once, right? So you just used 30 whole cycles worth of mana. It happened so fast, I took the hit before seeing it. It didn't hurt, but... I know you're stronger than Nerva. Is she? Is she stronger than Nerva? Do I even need to be concerned? Do I even need to be here? Can I make the game play itself? You are no judge. Time spring. Ekato! I'm learning a new language now. <laughs> Broke through Nerva's protection! And it only took a hundred years worth of mana! You really are stronger than her! What should I do? I'm happy you're the best, but also, I want to keep up. I'll try harder! <sighs> Why is she getting stronger? That was a hundred cycles! Never skipped this many at once. The more cycles I use, the more I feel the goddess's grip on me tighten. You're gonna turn it. The god is gonna take over your body by the end of this, huh? <laughs> this is uh, like it's for Castell. Mm. No matter how fast or how far you go, now you'll never, ever leave me behind. <laughs> yeah. This is all my fault, too, isn't it? This is mostly... I'm gonna blame the writers. You know you know what? I'll blame the writers this time. This is the writers' fault. They wanted a really clever twist, so they made the sister the bad guy. I started it, so... I'll end it. Should've just been Nerva. Should've just been Nerva the whole time. Told the hour. Set the sun. Tell me whence the moon hath come. How many are we gonna use this time? Pendulum swing and cycle sing. She's gonna say a thousand, isn't she? Time spring! Helia! Yeah! Quiver, for you shall know no mercy. By divine decree, thou shalt fall! Man, Weiss didn't stand a fucking chance. <laughs> My power... failed. Verdi? Um, do you need to take a break? Does someone who manipulates time need to take a break? I, I don't mind waiting. We have all eternity now, so there's no rush. Damn it. Damn it! Why do I do this? Why do I always screw up where it matters? You haven't done anything wrong yet. Huh? This is the same damn mistake I made last cycle. I tried to solve everything myself without understanding the problem, and now they're dead and, and you're... You're... Crazy? A murderous psychopath? Being controlled, manipulated by a dark deity? All of the above? Yeah, let's go with all the above. But... you never make mistakes. Yeah, she does. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has those days. What 
have it, I messed up. I didn't catch on to Vice in time either. You got on to him pretty early on. I don't think you could have been there any any earlier unless you, like, followed Alicia around. Alicia's dead. A and you know what? If I'd actually bothered to study, maybe I'd be able to turn back time far enough to save her. You can turn back time, but not far, apparently. Ferdy. Ferdy, stop. This isn't like you. You're perfect. You're strong. And then smart. And always know what to do. Right? I have as much self-esteem as the next guy, but I don't need someone worshipping me like a god. As if. Amaryllis is out there fighting Lilium on her own because I didn't deal with her myself. You didn't need to deal with her. It would have been nice if you helped her, but you didn't need to. Same for Lyle. I had a million chances to smash Cornelius' face in, but did I? No. True, Cornelius did consider you someone worth fighting. And I will admit, you I would have been very satisfying to watch you crush him into the dirt. I could have prevented everything. Could you? I don't know, you couldn't have been two places at once, as far as I can tell. And I damn well should have. What else am I going to use divine power for? I really don't know what the limitations of your powers are. I have it. So it's my responsibility to wield it. Man, I gotta look up Verdilia on the Versus Battle Wikia at some point. Or I'm gonna have to make a page. No. No. That's all their fault. Not yours. Oh, yeah? You gonna say the way I treated you was someone else's fault, too? I wonder what the power scaling community has to say about the Shadowverse universe, to be honest. I don't know if I've ever looked into it. I didn't understand you, and I never tried to, did I? I was so used to helping you, I thought you were helpless. Remember when I brought you to the roots? Uh, 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 Castell! I thought as long as you were with me, you'd be safe, but I almost got you killed. So then, I thought I had to keep you away from me and the tree. Stop. But that wasn't what you needed either, was it? To know how much you looked up to me. How much avoiding you must have hurt. Hurt me. Stop. Uh-uh. You need to hear this. Thinking back, all you wanted was to spend time with me, but I didn't listen. Uh, you kind of had too much responsibility to spend time with her. And part of that was your own doing, but part of that was your stupid, weird, cult-like religion that your family followed. Hey, Shay! Stop! You're going too fast, and it's not making sense! Oh, come on. She cannot break this down any dumber. That wasn't your fault. I couldn't keep up with you, but I didn't want to hold you back. I fell behind. You didn't want to leave me, and you'd rather be with me than your students, right? I'm, I'm starting to weigh that option, to be honest. <laughs> I'm supposed to be an all-powerful time god. I have to keep the whole world safe, so... So why is it so hard to make even just one girl happy? Sorry, Castell. I... I wasn't cut out for this. No, 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 no! Who are you? You're not ready! You know, shattering her illusion and sh shattering her percep- Blech. Shattering her perception of you might work, but it could also backfire and you make her even crazier. <sighs> the real birdie! My birdie wouldn't say that! She's perfect and knows it! Does she? God, your perception is so warped. I'm losing sympathy by the second. She's not just your sister anymore. She's also our professor. Right? Eh, 
There we go. Why are we finished up on our ends? I did promise I'd come running if you ever got in trouble, didn't I? Don't talk about Verdi like you know her. Who do you think you are? Who? Oh, yes. I'm Amaryllis. And this is Lyle. <laughs> and we are Professor Verdilia's students. Okay, it looks like we'll get to pick our choice of which deck to run. <gasps> There's rewards. Which means gameplay is going to interrupt our visual novel. <laughs> oh, never mind. We don't get to choose. We're probably just going to have uh, assistance. Um, do I have a deck that's playable and story deck? There's story decks? Oh, this is trial. Okay. Look at all these sanctuary story decks. Man, that, there's more trial decks than I remember. But yeah, we'll try out my, my updated healing deck. It might work out well. It was enough to beat Weiss! Thirties. Students. Now, could we maybe get an explanation of what the hell is going on here? That is your sister, right? Ye yes and no. Yeah, that's Castell. Long story short, she's got divine power now. And a lot more than me. More than you? But if you're channeling the same deity... Hmm? They're not. Different goddess. Name's Nerva, and I don't know much else. Only thing I've got is that she's tough. My attacks didn't even face her. Thousand years worth of mana. Hmm. Just want to we throw that out her there. somehow, though. We... Yeah. Thanks. You both settled your fights, huh? I got the victory I wanted. Over my father. You were right, Professor. I was able to take control of his undead. As if they were my marionettes. And I was able to use my magic, just like you taught me. I overwrote that awful ending, and had a long talk with Lilium. We've a ways to go yet, but it's a start. Did you, though? It kind of felt like you just shattered her worldview a bit, and similar to what's going on with Castell, actually, and then just kind of went... <clears throat> judo chop and uh, conked her out. In fact, she might wake up and be a problem later. As for your father, I think he's done. He can't do shit. He might kill himself if he wakes up. So I think you're good, Lyoth. I'm proud of you, too. You didn't just crush your own goals. You had enough left in you to come find me. Would you... Uh, would you lend me a hand? I think with your help, I've got a chance. I... Personally, I don't think you do. But the, we have to win or the gameplay story ends, so... Or who knows, this could be another fucking uh, reveal nonsense where we all lose here and then we go to a dark, manipulated future and then time travel back to a beginning of... The... <laughs> I hope we don't do that again, but at the same time, I'm not fully against it. Call me a hypocrite, but as another Sybil, I have to stop Castell. I would like a happier ending than this. Professor. If I had a complaint about storytelling in the last ten years, it's that I f people have, think that we've gotten tired of happy endings. No, people like happy endings. Not everything has to be dark, depressing, twisted, and... So, uh, what's the term? I got nothing. Anywho. Not to interrupt, but your sister's looking antsy. It all makes sense now. The Academy was distracting you. Uh-oh. They stole your confidence. But it's okay. I'll fix everything. I swear, no matter what goes down, I'll protect you two. That's my responsibility. It's not, but now's not the time to argue. Agreed. 
We're happy to help. Thanks. I wonder if Lilium could trap Castell in a book. Just throwing that out there. Castell, this ends here. Alrighty, gameplay time. Spirit cycle. A life is never truly wasted. It can be recycled over and over. I can't let you do this! For Nerdy, my goddess! Um, a little help. Hour. That's a lot of cards in hand. Class Bonds. Fusion. Lilith, Verdilius Pupil, or Amaryllis, Verdilius Pupil. Can only fuse if you have 10 play points. What? Gain an empty play point orb. Subtract one from the countdown of all amulets. Give Rush to allied followers. If there are four other cards in list in your hand, draw a card. If this card is used to two different cards, give all allied followers Storm, the ability to ignore Ward. And oh my god, the text keeps going. The and the ability to attack four times per turn. So. Take a seat. Cool. That's just a free play point orb. So we have ramp every turn. And eventually we want to fuse these two cards to it to get bonkers busted broken nonsense. Lilith, Fidelia's Pupil, select an enemy follower. It can't attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Deal X damage to another random enemy follower. X equals select follower's attack. When this follower leaves play or at the end of your turn, banish this follower. Transformation does not count. Amaryllis. Destroy damaged follower until end of turn. Subtract one from the cost of all Havencraft followers in your hand. When this follower leaves play, yada yada yada. Banish. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cat. A lot of text reading there. With nervous power. I don't like the look at that. See? I can keep Defend it. the forest. Hang Go on. ahead and play for now, fairies. Hey, Please don't say. eat anyone else. Please no cheating. Anywho. Excuse me. Tell me what that was? Okay. I did not have time. That was not on screen long enough for me to read. Oh my god, I just realized she has 50 defense. The light is profound. Take a seat. I will not lose. I cannot. See? I can keep it up to meet you. <laughs> you do well to watch your back. Oh my god, her board is scary. Okay, so let's just do this. I will not lose. I cannot. Oh, proud. That didn't work out. This Can works. You handle the heat? Burn. My name is Amaryllis. This is it, then. Take a seat. Um, hmm. I mean, they banish anyway, so I might as well just remove it. Now, hey, let's play. Give thanks for the harvest. This 
board is terrifying. Food at work is so overpriced. Ah, uh, my hand is so full. I will not lose. I cannot. My name is Amaryllis. Time to hit the practice hall. The sky watches over you. Brilliant emerald blessings upon you. Take a seat. The light is profound. Huh. Careful now. <laughs> ah, smell money in the air. A May miracle. happiness come to you. We have a board, and I think this can... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot. Now, the only thing I read on her card was that it does something when there's seven cards in her hand. I can keep up. The will of the forest guides my spear. My the will of the forest guides my I spear. I could do nothing. Don't hurt me! Defend the forest! Nothing else matters. Witness the might of the Fae! I'm proud of you all. Ugh. This is, uh... With honor and dignity. Alright. Let's try to... I will not Stop lose. this from attacking and probably blow up something. They're picking on me! Your is My free is removal. My purpose is fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I think we want to put this down for next turn. Take a seat. We have ten now. What does this do when I have ten? I can fuse with it now. So next turn it's going to be nasty. Be sensible now. But the forest! Uh. Huh. Beauty's strength! Soften Clor, soften Clor and mind! All right. My purpose is fulfilled. Left? <laughs> we got some damage out. I can keep up. We got a big board. The two, two of, of us play. play. What joy! You do well to watch your back. Hmm. 
Most impressive. Hey, let's play. Look at this. But Root them we out. Have so many oh my god, that's terrifying. What do you do again? Fusion. And gain an empty play point. This card was used two different cards. Give all allied followers Storm the ability to ignore Ward, the ability to attack four times per turn. Oh, that's so hard to set up. I will not lose. I cannot. That was lucky. My name is Amaryllis. <clears throat> I think this is a good play. Okay. This is our law. This is our law. This is our law. Take a seat. Okay. Um, do I want to do that? I think, yeah, no. It doesn't Bring matter. I just need to get rid of this six six. You haven't seen me get sick. Huh. This is it then. Our law. Ciao. Well then. Ta ta. Confess. This is our law. Okay, I have enough of a board now. We're gonna have a full hand next turn. We'll have a full grip, and I think we can do something. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bane. That's got storm. Your funeral. Why won't you listen? I take my silence to the grave. Oh my goodness. All right. I cannot win here. So, um, hmm. Where'd my Evo points go? I thought I had one more. Come, he will show us a miracle. I will not lose. I cannot. My name is Amaryllis. Our fate is in our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, 
Gentlemice, your attention, please! Take a seat. Hold the line! <laughs> Here comes the spin! Here comes the spin! <laughs> huh. Every flower stops as a bud. <laughs> All right, I have a board. Let's make it count. I can keep up. I just need to make sure the board sticks so that I can use these the class bonds with fuse. Hi, I'm your new handler. I just need one creature to live. This isn't nearly enough. Oh no. All right. Okay, so what do we play now? We play this, not that it matters all that much. Okay. This is our law. Beauty is strength. <laughs> Take a seat. Okay. Here comes the spin. Here comes the spin. Here comes the spin. Here comes the spin. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> And listen. This feels a little anticlimactic, personally. Did we get her? I don't think so. anyways. God, that's such a fucking prick thing to say. And besides, why should a goddess serve people? You have the power to do anything! What's the term, noblesse oblige? It is the duty of the powerful to help the weak. You'll see. I'll get rid of your responsibilities and then we can have fun. You'll finally be all mine. She's not yours. Oh good, she's still alive. She's not just your sis. She is. She is. Oh no, she's screaming in all caps now. And she isn't just our professor either. Hemerilis, stop. She's a full-blown goddess. And I am a princess. Back from a long journey studying magic. Now an even greater witch than the one I once admired. And I believe that there is a lesson which you must learn, Professor. Me? A lesson? It's never too late to learn. I mean, until you're dead. cared for us dearly. Kept us out of harm's way at all costs. But you do so by shouldering the heavy burdens yourself. All the risk responsibility that's who you are my you don't know her you don't know her like a... 
Thank you, Lyle. Got her. <laughs> I don't know how long I can hold her, so I'll keep it short. Amaryllis is right. You do need to learn a lesson. Lyle's. Yes, you can control the goddess of time herself. But that's the problem. You believe her abilities put you above others. It's not that simple. You don't know the things I've done. I've misused her power too many times. I almost killed Castell. I, I did kill an entire class of students. No. Yeah, that one, you're just taking guilt for something that's not your problem. So now it's my responsibility as a You can feel sad, but it's not your fault. Professor to make damn sure I never... This is exactly what we mean. Listen carefully, because I am not repeating this. I owe my victory to you. Not your goddess, you. The way I was training, maybe someday I would have killed him. But I never would have made him acknowledge me. It's the same with Lilium and me. What mattered most wasn't your power. It was that you took time to understand us. It made me realize that I didn't know Lilium as well as I thought either. <clears throat> Life goals. Exactly. We don't need an itemized list of every mistake you've ever made. What's done is done. Regardless of the path you took, you met us and saved us. I wouldn't have even classified what she did as a mistake. She made a star, stellar graduating class that all went on to die. That's not on you. It's partially on uh, them, actually. But uh, it's mostly the fault of the military. You're more than a Sybil, or a professor. You're you. You taught me that yourself, Verdelia. <clears throat> you looked so... so desperate, playing the part of the goddess. Yeah, so no more. It's my responsibility as a... whatever nonsense. I mean, really, have you ever tried to act like a normal professor? <laughs> no. That's correct. Never have you been normal. Lesson learned. <clears throat> Thanks, you two. I'm no goddess. I'm a sister, a professor. But first and foremost, I'm Verdilia. Just Verdilia. No! Don't listen to them! You! Man, I, we just need to conk you out and see if we can just wipe your memories. You are a goddess! You are! <sighs> bubbles. I love the bubbles on Amaryllis' effects. Lyle, Amaryllis, you got one more fight left in you? I think I have an idea of how I can win. My really? Way. Got it. Amaryllis, can you hold off Castell for a minute? Of course. Get away from her! Out of my way! Castell, this is the first time we've properly spoken. And I don't want it to be our last. I've been so curious about Verdilia's sister. I'd love to get to know you. The real you. Well, you won't. I don't need anyone but her. Anyone! Is that why Alicia's dead? It seems words won't get through to her. Verdilia, are you ready? Yep, almost. Hey, hold still. I've never given someone stitches before. I can't promise they'll hold, but I'm amazed you're still alive, let alone standing. Man, if only we had a battle damage model. <sighs> Better than nothing. Thanks for patching me up. And you too, Amaryllis. You can fall back. Now, it's my turn. Good luck. And don't get yourself hurt. We trust you. You've got this. I sure hope so. Castell, this time, for real, 
I will stop you. I won't let the power those two let me go to waste. How many times do I have to say this? You don't need their power! That line of thinking is exactly what held me back all these years. I hated asking anyone for help, even the goddess. But I'd been told so many times I had to that I believed it. Then deep down, I was afraid of using her power up. Of taking more than she could give. Please! Please, no more! I don't want to hear this! Then don't listen. That's a fun line read right there. Bravo, 10 out of 10. Told the hour, set the sun. All right, what's the number? Are we going for a million? Tell me whence the moon hath come. Pendulum swing and cycle sing. Or are we going back? Time spring, up it on. Oh, oh, that's not a number. <laughs> Ooh. New CG. Why are you so mad at me? I thought you'd be proud. I worked so hard to get this strong because I didn't want to make you cry anymore. I can finally keep up. So, so why? You don't have to keep up. Oh, it parallels. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I promise. I'm not going to push you away anymore. <gasps> there. He used up every last cycle the goddess gave me. And now, I'm just me. Professor Verdilia, your big sister. No godly powers. <laughs> Don't know why I was so scared of this. I never liked being a sibyl anyways. But... Huh? If you used all the cycles, how are you still... She literally used control A. Just use up all the power at once. I don't have any <laughs> cycles left, sure. But you know what that means? No. Oh, come on, Castell. It means the forest's number one Sybil is free to channel power from something else. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. Wait. You mean Nerva? Don't do this. This is a bad idea. I'll siphon half of it from you. Fifty-fifty, fair and square. I even even I think that might be a bad idea still. We're both Sybils here. Let's see what's stronger. Your skill or my experience. And for the record, I'm not letting you one-up me yet. You want to waste nervous power on a duel? What's so wrong with using it for ourselves? Our future? You always took my side before. We never fought as kids. Because I was babying you. I let so much slide because I thought you didn't know better. Oh, you definitely didn't know better if you fucking murdered your parents. But you're not dumb. You're not a baby. And you can own up to your own mistakes. No, you don't need anyone but me. And once you're away from the Academy, you'll see that. Where's Arisa when we need her? You're just... Clinging to the past. Everyone does, but at some point, you've got to swallow your fears and move on. You know, if I had to pick a character who could probably intervene here from the main cast, probably be Arias. We need someone immortal to step in. I grew up, and so did you. I'm trying to see who you are here and now, Castell, so show me! I'm not giving you up to Nerva without a fight! Wisdom versus skill. I hate geniuses. Talent is truly a it's a imbalance in the patch that is life. Trust me! Castell! <laughs> ah! 
And it all ends in a tug of war. And the winner is... We're just a couple elves. Well, they are elves. We don't know everything even about each other. I don't get what the whole Sybil nonsense is. It's just a Sybil, like another... I guess they're using it as a term of vessel, I guess. But we can learn. Right? I won't give up. I'm taking you with me. Why are you so stubborn? I know I'm bad, but come on. Bonk. Just, just conquer out. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Don't know how many of my own cycles I've got left, but I swear. I will spend every last one of them with you, atoning for the lives you took. Just a quick question. How many lives did she take? You don't have to do it alone. We aren't alone. Also, what if Weiss gets back up? Is someone going to deal with him? Liar. You didn't keep our last promise. You'll just forget again. I didn't forget. I just... Didn't realize how important it was to you. If I have time, I'll come find you. That work? Of course! <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, let's have ourselves a hell of a breakfast. Oh, now I'm hungry and I just ate. <laughs> I still want justice for Alicia. Who do I who do I murder for that? <laughs> yeah, right here. I guess Weiss is still alive. Let's go. Let's go walk back a bit and punch him out. Also, it would have been nice to try Tom travel with the Goddess of Cycles to see if that was possible. You've had a long day. Get some rest. <laughs> This is not going to end well, though. We're not omniscient. Because I feel like Nerva is going to have some two cents to give. Us mortals will never understand the gods. We barely understand each other. But that's exactly why. Verdi, I'm sorry. Virgilia! Are you alright? When someone does understand you, it feels so... <laughs> magical. Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine now. No, it's not. Nerva's still out there. And now two of you have her power. The final piece. Well, no battle this time. Chapter 14. Happiness. Oh, God. Here we go again. At least she learned how to use the caps correctly. I've seen it motivate mortals. Yet I've also seen it hold them back. And on occasion, it unbalances. Unhinges them. Is this a new villain, or are you just going to say it's Nerva? It's fascinating, but fleeting. Precious, but tenuous. Is this the God of Cycles? <laughs> I feel... I've observed the complete range of mortal emotion, and feel happy for it. A pity I couldn't make a complete vessel of the girl, but... I got the last piece I needed. Oh, fuck. I forgot she was collecting pieces of semblance of self. The joy of blind faith. The exhilaration Castell felt devoting her entire existence to one she loved. The fury of the forlorn. Ewan's frustration at the purgation he himself catalyzed. And his burning desire to avenge the home he lost. What'd you get from Maisha and Belfamet? The lazy bliss of ignorance. 
The eternal peace Takatsumi found, divorced from his past struggles. The sorrow of regret, a numb feeling that, that this body knows well. Oh. Oh, that's right. Wasn't Ewan's uh, fiancé or wife originally a vessel of Nerva, if I remember correctly? We still don't know who that is. So that's probably whose body she's currently using. Together, the four represent the full spectrum of mortal reasoning. The positive and negative motivators. The active and passive responses. Damn, Maisha and Belfamet were failed vessels, so we don't get shit from them. God damn. Hey, t one of those two was the best villain this story ever had. Uh, I mean, Icy was great. I'll give Icy credit where credit's due. Nexus failed because she did not understand the dynamic applications of emotion, which I have now mastered. I feel like Nexus did a pretty good job before you ate her. With this power. I could easily bring all worlds under my jurisdiction. Prepare mortals for my arrival. When the worlds have been fully steeped in darkness, the stars of purgation shall rise. We're not in the end game yet. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we get an epilogue. But, um... We're not quite in the end yet. Because... Even after we deal with Nerva, there are other Keepers out there. We have cards for some of the other Keepers. But we don't have fucking cards for Nerva yet. I don't think. Or if we do, I don't remember them. Chapter 15. Fresh start. We gonna get justice for Alicia? It's been crazy, pulling things back together. But the world's kept on turning, like nothing ever happened. Hmm. Professor, I thought for sure I'd be the first one here. Hey, how's work been treating you? Work. Uh, don't remind me. The nobles want this, the military wants that, and none of it's practical. Oh, you're the headmaster now, aren't you? Because your dad's gone. They do have stakes in the academy, so it's only fair, but it's been a nightmare. Cornelius vanished after the battle. His clothes were found in the courtyard where he'd been knocked out. But other than that, not a trace. Ah, oh, that's just what we needed. A naked villain running around. All he left us with were questions. Hard to say if that had been his real body at all. But with him gone, the seat of Headmaster has passed to Lyleth, albeit only temporarily. My father lives for but one purpose. To grasp magic's most profound secrets. And now, I fear I've only motivated him further. He's still out there. Of that, I'm certain. And he will be back one day. So, I have to grow stronger. Sounds like you'll be busy too, huh? I hope we get another set where we check in on the worlds that we helped uh, save. So, we got a set where we checked back in on Isunia, the Land of Guilds, and Natera when it got fused with uh, the Aelion. So, I guess the next time we do a recollection set, it'll probably be looking at the Academy of Ages and Reveil. Slash, I guess, Velsar in the future, because the Reveil and Velsar is the same plane. Or are they two different planes now? I don't remember. Yes, I imagine I will be. But I won't run away. Not anymore. I am his son, after all. Uh, I get a headache just thinking about the sheer amount of money and people I'm in charge of now. But the biggest headache of them all is... Amaryllis. Oh, good morning. Oh God, she has another you thing. You're so early. <laughs> ah, Amaryllis. Speak of the devil. The devil? I've read stories about lots of devils. Which one? Forget it. More importantly, what is that? Hmm? 
Oh, you mean Womp? Ah, uh, she named it already. Look, he Womps, he Thwomps, and he's very strong. What do you think? Now that is one heck of a golem. The Mattress Lab League's getting good. Don't encourage her. The library's practically a zoo now. <laughs> the library's... God. I hope Lillian's okay. <gasps> a zoo? Oh, Lyle, that's a wonderful idea. I could have little habitats for all my friends. Oh, Lillian God. Lillian stepped down as student council president. Amaryllis is... kind of... <laughs> handling things until they find someone else. Please, for the love of God, somebody else take care of things. <laughs> Her speech to the entire student body was probably the best I've ever sat through. Oh God, let me hear it. Hello? Uh, uh, can you all hear me? I'm Amaryllis, Liam's friend. And I'd love to be friends with all of you too. Um, I believe that's all. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> She's a fucking moron. <laughs> oh. True to her words, she's been running all over campus, getting to know students from both tracks. It's been hilarious watching Lyle deal with all her escapades. How's Lillian been doing? That is a good question. She's doing well. Just yesterday, she went off to punish some misbehaved villains. Oh, really? Not even gonna ask. Don't let her go too crazy, okay? <laughs> of course. I'm not afraid to disagree with her anymore. What about you, Professor? Today's the day, right? Burning the orphanage. Yeah, that's probably what she's doing. You could have at least cleaned up the classroom a bit. Aren't you excited? <clears throat> Dunno. Time for a new class. Oh, that's right, Castell. Hey, Castell. How are things? Have you gotten over the whole murder, Broner? Um, Birdie, I'm. I'm sorry. So let's talk about how we killed your you killed your parents. This time, sorry isn't gonna cut it. So, I don't want to hear any more apologies out of you. We'll work through your crimes together as professor and student. Castell's been bedridden, recovering from the battle. In the meantime, she put together a written confession of her murders. Our little community in the forest had always been outside the law's jurisdiction. So she's apparently not going to face any legal repercussions. Go figure. But I'll help think of a way to lay our parents and the others to rest. Sybil's lives are linked to their patron deities. So when I stole Nerva's power, I seem to have linked Castell's life force to mine. We're going to start by studying how that impacts us. And... I've decided that I'm going to take responsibility for what happened by raising her in our parents' place. Oh, um, okay. I feel like you should have done that from the beginning. When you ran away, you should have taken her with you. A lot of this would have been avoided. If I'm going to put any amount of blame on you, Verdelia, that's the problem that you did. Also, if you ever have any questions about Academy life, you can come to one of us. But what about Alicia? I'm Lyle, by the way. And I'm Amaryllis, student council president. Oh, I... I don't deserve this. Not after what I did to you two. You barely did anything. You hurt them. They're fine. It's okay. Professor Verdelia filled us in on what happened, and we trust her judgment. She helped us move past our mistakes. I don't know if you actually ever made any mistakes, Amaryllis, other side of adopting every single thing that moves, but I like that a few mistakes. So I have no doubt she can do the same for you. I'll do my best. 
These two helped me confront my past mistakes, too. We've all done things we're not proud of. The best we can do is learn from them and do better. That's what this class is for. To understand ourselves and each other. Right? Right. Right. Okay. I'll try. Castell is safe for now, but Nerva is still out there somewhere. There's nothing to say she won't find a new Sybil, or send more lackeys like Vice. And if there's a next time, I won't have the power of cycles to rely on. That is a big drawback. Gonna have to find my style. Hit the books, train, fail, and then fail better. If Nerva tries anything funny, she's gonna have Verdilia to answer to. I look forward to that. Still a lot of unanswered questions. No justice for Alicia. Vice, I now, guess, got away. Let's get this lesson started. I think we killed him, but I'm not sure. Cornelius is out there. Eh, I'm not worried about him. He turned out to be a lot less of a threat than I thought he would. Lillian was personally more terrifying, and we're just letting her go scot-free. <laughs> All in all, I like this story. New chapters. Oh, it says complete, though. We got the title for it, so I'm assuming it's done. I can't wait to see where the story goes from here. Who knows? Maybe we'll finally cut back to one of our main people. I miss our Morningstar crew. Maybe we'll get another EX ones at some point. Because these were pretty good. I kind of wish that they took place... Uh, Right where they were important. Oh god, look a if I make Camaro feels adopted. No, I'm not doing that. Anywho, that's all for now. Until next time, I'll see you in the next stream. If you want to stay updated on what I do in the future, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. I don't really do anything on Twitter anymore, or X, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I post on Reddit occasionally. You can find me on Reddit there. Although you'll probably only find me on Reddit if you know my handle. It is the same as my Twitter handle. Join the Discord. Subscribe to the stream. Subscribe to the channel. And... Uh, that's pretty much all we really need. Do whatever you need to do. Or, you know what? Put a comment in the video. I'll respond to it. Provided it's not inappropriate or just spam. Toodaloo!